This is my time toast timeline of the 1900s earthquakes till present. These are all my events. And every time I'd have to add a new earthquake into my timeline, I'd go down here to add event. I would add a picture, put a title, I would put the date in which it occurred, and a small description. After I was done, I could just click on one and it would tell me the magnitude, how many people were killed, and it would show me a picture of it. Jacqueline Tobar and I am currently a student of Mr. Drea's geology class at Desert Oasis High School and I am a senior. Hi, um, how is your overall experience using Time Toast? Be honest. Give me your likes and your dislikes. I honestly like Time Toast. The features were really easy to get to and it wasn't a hard program to get around. My only uh, difficulty was how many megabytes of picture had to be in order to be on the timeline. Okay, did you notice a pattern of when volcanoes or earthquakes happened? No, they just seem to be going around just randomly. Okay, did you notice a pattern of where they happened? Um, yes, they were around the Pacific Ring of Fire and around other plate tectonics. Hi, my name is John Kirtley. I'm a senior at Desert Oasis High School, and I'm currently in Mr. Dre's Geology Honors class. I use Time Toast to make my major volcanic eruption timeline for my project. And I like Time Toast because it's a very simple program, but it gets the job done very easily and very simplified. And um, I actually learned a lot just by doing this timeline. For example, that major volcanic eruptions can occur anytime, it does not matter period or the year, they can occur just completely randomly.